I stepped into our bedroom, the familiar scent of lavender filling the air. The room was dimly lit, casting elongated shadows across the floor. I glanced around, searching for my phone, which I had carelessly left on the nightstand earlier. As I reached out to grab it, my hand brushed against something soft and silky, tucked beneath a pile of clothes. Curiosity peaked, I pulled the fabric out from its hiding place. My heart skipped a beat as I realized what I was holding, a delicate lace camisole, definitely not mine. Confusion knotted my stomach as I unfolded it, revealing more women's clothing hidden beneath. My mind raced, trying to comprehend what I was seeing. Why would James have a stash of women's clothing hidden in our bedroom? Doubt and fear crept in, clouding my thoughts. Was there something I didn't know about my own husband? I couldn't shake the feeling of unease as I continued to uncover the hidden treasures. Dresses, stockings, even a pair of panties all carefully hidden away as if they were forbidden secrets. My hands trembled as I placed the garments back where I found them, my mind swirling with questions. Was James hiding something from me? Had he been living a double life behind my back? The trust that had formed the foundation of our marriage now felt fragile, like a delicate thread ready to snap at any moment. I sat on the edge of the bed, feeling the weight of uncertainty pressing down on me. Tears pricked at the corners of my eyes as I grappled with the realization that the man I thought I knew might not be who he appeared to be. A thousand thoughts raced through my mind as I tried to make sense of it all. What would I do now? How could I confront James about this discovery without shattering our relationship irreparably? Despite the initial shock, I couldn't shake the nagging curiosity that gnawed at me. It was as if an invisible force tugged at me, urging me to delve deeper into James's hidden world. But with each step forward, I felt the weight of uncertainty bearing down on me, threatening to suffocate any sense of normalcy left in our marriage. Reluctantly, I found myself drawn back to the concealed stash of women's clothing. The garments that once seemed so foreign and unsettling now held a strange allure, tempting me to unravel the mystery that surrounded them. With trembling hands, I gingerly sifted through the delicate fabrics, each piece revealing a glimpse into a side of James I never knew existed. As I explored further, I couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt creeping in. Was I betraying James's trust by prying into his private fantasies? Or was I simply seeking answers to the questions that tormented me day and night? Torn between my love for my husband and my own discomfort, I struggled to reconcile the conflicting emotions waging war within me. Part of me longed to confront James, to demand an explanation for his secret indulgence. But another part feared the repercussions, the inevitable fallout that would follow, tearing apart the very fabric of our marriage. Yet, despite my reservations, I couldn't deny the undeniable truth that lay before me. James had been hiding a part of himself from me, a part that yearned to break free from the confines of societal norms and expectations. As I grappled with the revelation of James's hidden secret, an unexpected idea began to form in my mind. Perhaps the key to understanding lay not in confrontation, but in exploration. With a newfound determination, I made the bold decision to confront the issue head-on, albeit in a way that felt less confrontational and more adventurous. James, I said one evening, mustering up the courage to broach the subject. I think we need to talk. James looked up from his book, concern etched across his features. Is everything okay, Taylor? I took a deep breath, steeling myself for what was to come. I found your stash. A flicker of panic crossed James's face before he quickly composed himself. My stash? I nodded, my heart pounding in my chest. Your secret stash of women's clothing. For a moment, James was silent, his gaze averted. Then, to my surprise, he let out a resigned sigh. I suppose there's no point in hiding it anymore. With that admission hanging in the air, I knew it was time to take action. I want to understand, James. 
I want to know why. And so, in a moment of spontaneity, I proposed an idea that would change the course of our relationship forever. We would go shopping together, exploring this hidden facet of James's identity in a way neither of us had dared to before. James hesitated at first, his apprehension palpable. But as I laid out my plan, a glimmer of excitement sparked in his eyes, mingled with a hint of uncertainty. The following weekend, we found ourselves navigating the crowded aisles of a department store, the buzz of conversation and the rustle of clothing surrounding us. I watched as James fidgeted nervously, his eyes darting around as if expecting judgmental stares from every corner. But I was determined to make this experience a positive one, a journey of self-discovery for both of us. With a mischievous grin, I reached for a wig nestled amongst the display of accessories, holding it out to Jameis with a playful gleam in my eye. Let's have some fun, I said, my voice laced with excitement. James hesitated for a moment before tentatively accepting the wig, a hesitant smile tugging at the corners of his lips. And just like that, the tension that had hung between us dissolved, replaced by a sense of camaraderie and shared adventure. I told James, you now go by Julia. I recounted, my voice steady despite the flutter of nerves in my stomach. And she said, Julia, it is, as she swirled her hair around. As we ventured deeper into the boutique, the vibrant colors and delicate fabrics enveloped us in a whirlwind of possibilities. Julia's eyes sparkled with excitement, mirroring the anticipation that coursed through my veins. With each passing moment, the weight of our secret seemed to lift, replaced by a newfound freedom that beckoned us to explore without inhibition. In the midst of racks filled with dresses of every style and hue, I found myself drawn to a particular garment, a stunning emerald gown that seemed to shimmer under the soft glow of the store lights. It called to me, whispering promises of transformation and liberation. With a knowing smile, I selected it for Julia, a silent gesture of support and acceptance. As we made our way to the changing room, our footsteps echoed against the polished floors, a steady rhythm that mirrored the beat of our hearts. With each step forward, I felt a sense of exhilaration building within me fueled by the knowledge that we were embarking on a journey unlike any other. Inside the changing room, Julia shed her outer layers, revealing the vulnerability that lay beneath. Yet there was a strength in her gaze, a determination that spoke volumes without uttering a single word. As I helped her slip into the emerald gown, I couldn't help but marvel at the transformation unfolding before my eyes. The fabric clung to Julia's curves like a second skin, accentuating her femininity in ways I had never imagined possible. With delicate fingers, I fastened the dress at the back, a silent promise of solidarity and acceptance. You look breathtaking, Julia, I whispered, my voice barely above a hushed murmur. And in that moment, as our eyes met in the reflection of the mirror, I saw a flicker of something profound, a sense of belonging that transcended words and barriers alike. But our journey was far from over. With newfound confidence, Julia and I ventured further into the boutique, exploring aisle after aisle of lingerie, stockings, and heels. Each garment held the promise of a new beginning, a chance to embrace our true selves without fear or reservation. Together, Julia and I navigated the maze of lace and satin, our fingers trailing over the delicate fabrics with reverence. Each piece seemed to hold a story, a whispered secret waiting to be shared. And as we explored, I couldn't help but marvel at the beauty of it all. The intricate designs, the bold colors, the sheer audacity of self-expression. Amidst the sea of possibilities, we found ourselves drawn to the section dedicated to heels, towering symbols of femininity and power. With a shared sense of excitement, we began to try on pair after pair, each one more dazzling than the last. Julia's eyes lit up with delight as she slipped her feet into the various styles, her confidence growing with each step she took. And as she twirled and danced around the boutique, 
I couldn't help but admire the grace and poise she exuded. After what felt like an eternity of trying on heels, Julia finally found her perfect pair, a sleek black stiletto with a hint of shimmer that caught the light just so. With a satisfied smile, she declared them her favorite, the embodiment of everything she had hoped to find in this unconventional shopping excursion. With a sense of accomplishment, we made our way to the checkout counter, our arms laden with bags filled with newfound treasures. And as we handed over our purchases, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride wash over me. Not just for the garments we had acquired, but for the journey we had embarked upon together. Arriving home, the weight of our bags filled with newfound treasures seemed inconsequential compared to the weightlessness of our spirits. As we stepped through the threshold, the familiarity of our surroundings felt different somehow, as if the air itself crackled with anticipation of what was to come. Setting our purchases down with care, we exchanged a knowing glance, our eyes alight with the shared understanding of the journey we had just undertaken. With a sense of purpose, I led Julia to our bedroom, the soft glow of the afternoon sunlight casting a warm embrace over us. Sitting her down at the vanity, I gathered an array of makeup brushes and palettes, each one a tool in the art of transformation. As I began to apply Julia's makeup, a sense of intimacy settled over us, the gentle brush strokes a silent symphony of acceptance and love. With each stroke of the brush, I felt the barriers between us dissolve, replaced by a newfound closeness that transcended words. With meticulous care, I highlighted Julia's features, accentuating her natural beauty in ways that left me breathless. Her eyes sparkled with a newfound confidence, the reflection in the mirror a testament to the strength and resilience that lay within her. And as I put the finishing touches on her makeup, a sense of pride swelled within me, not just for the flawless visage that stared back at us from the mirror, but for the journey we had undertaken together. With a gentle hand, I reached for a pair of breast enhancers, a playful glint dancing in my eyes. As I held them out to Julia, a mischievous smile played at the corners of my lips. Why don't we add a little extra oomph? I suggested, my voice laced with teasing affection. Julia's eyes widened in surprise, a blush creeping into her cheeks at the unexpected suggestion. Yet there was a hint of excitement in her gaze, a willingness to embrace the playful indulgence of the moment. With a soft laugh, she accepted the breast enhancers, her fingers trembling slightly as she placed them inside her bra. As she adjusted them to her liking, a wave of anticipation washed over me, tinged with a sense of exhilaration at the prospect of what was to come. Looking good, Julia, I teased, unable to suppress a grin as I admired the subtle transformation taking place before my eyes. The added curves accentuated her figure in all the right places, enhancing her natural beauty in ways that left me in awe. With a newfound confidence, Julia stood before the mirror, her reflection a testament to the strength and resilience that lay within her. And as she met my gaze with a playful twinkle in her eye, I knew that our journey was far from over. Just then, Julia turned to me with a gleam of excitement in her eyes. You know, I've been thinking, she began, her voice filled with anticipation. I'd love to get my hair and nails done. What do you say? A smile tugged at the corners of my lips as I nodded in agreement. Sounds like a perfect idea, I replied, my own excitement mirrored in Julia's enthusiasm. With renewed determination, we made our way outside once more, the warm embrace of the afternoon sun guiding our steps. The nail salon beckoned to us like a sanctuary of indulgence and relaxation, promising a moment of respite from the chaos of the outside world. As we entered the salon, the soothing sounds of soft music and gentle chatter washed over us, enveloping us in a cocoon of tranquility. Julia's eyes sparkled with anticipation as she settled into the plush chair, a sense of contentment settling over her like a comforting embrace. As the skilled technicians went to work, shaping and painting our nails with precision and care, Julia's joy was palpable. 
She reveled in the simple pleasure of being pampered, her laughter filling the air as she chatted animatedly with the salon staff. With each stroke of the brush, I watched as Julia's transformation continued, her confidence growing with each passing moment. It was a reminder of the strength and resilience that lay within her, a testament to the beauty of embracing one's true self without reservation. As we left the salon, our nails freshly painted and our spirits lifted, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the journey we had undertaken together. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.